On January 13, 1891, Miguel Pro was born into a mining family. He was the third of 11 children. Two of his sisters joined the convent, and he entered the Jesuit novitiate on August 15, 1911, at the age of 20. Miguel went to seminary in California. From there, he went to Granada, Spain, and Nicaragua. For his theological studies, he went to Inkain, Belgium, where the French Jesuits, who were also in exile, had their faculty of theology. He was ordained in 1925. Miguel was known for his radiant joy and good humor. His companion, Father Pulido, said that he had never seen such an exquisite wit, never coarse, always sparkling. Father Pulido said that they were two Miguel pros, the playful pro and the prayerful pro. Three months after he was ordained, Miguel Pro got very ill and had to have some operations. He was cheerful and courageous throughout, saying he drew his strength from prayer. In 1926, Father Miguel Pro returned to Mexico. In the 1920s and into the 1930s, there was a serious oppression of the Catholic Church in Mexico. It was illegal to go to Mass or administer the sacraments. It was illegal to be a priest. Churches were closed and priests were in hiding. Some openly serving priests were forced to marry, but many of them were killed. After Miguel returned to his home, he began to evangelize Mexico City. Because it was illegal to wear clerics, Father Miguel owned many different costumes. One night, Father Miguel was celebrating a secret mass and after it ended, police broke in and infiltrated the house. He ran out the back door, put on his police costume, and busted through the front door, pretending to be a policeman looking for himself. Father Miguel was a practical joker, and so he made it a point to throw his ministry in the face of the government. He had a fiesta in the front lawn of the mayor's house. The punch bowl was filled with holy water, which he used to baptize people. Father Miguel was so committed to joy that he said, If I meet any long-faced saints in heaven, I will cheer them up with a Mexican hat dance. On November 20th, 1928, Miguel Pro was captured by the police, interrogated, and was beaten. On November 23rd, they led him before a firing squad. The Mexican government hired a professional photographer to be on site because they wanted to show the people how cowardly Catholics were. They wanted to show images to all of Mexico to see how this priest, who had been eluding and making fun of the government, would look like cowering for his life in front of a firing squad. What they got was completely different. They gave him a few minutes to pray, so he knelt down in front of the firing squad and he prayed. He stood up and they offered him a blindfold, which he refused. As he stood in front of the firing squad, he said, Father, I hold nothing against any of these men. You know that I am innocent of what they accuse me, and with all my heart, I forgive them. He then stretched out his arms in the form of a cross, holding a crucifix in his right hand and a rosary in his left. He said the words, Viva Cristo Rey, Long live Christ the King, and the firing squad fired. The whole time, the photographer was taking pictures. After Miguel Pro died, these images spread across Mexico like wildfire became illegal to have a copy of that photo. It inspired hope and courage in the hearts of the Mexican people. Cristo Rey was the king of Miguel Pro's life. 52 years later, Pope John Paul II beatified Blessed Miguel Pro on September 25, 1988.